you can't feel your socks. Although now that I've said that, you can definitely feel them. And the sensation of the fact that you're wearing clothing, I presume, starts to come back to you as soon as you're made aware of it. But why does that happen and why can your brain just switch that off? Today we're going to talk all about synapses, what they are and why you end up not being able to feel things that are actually there. Welcome back to Mr C's Biology. Thanks for being here. Let's have a look. So we talked the other day in the electrocution video all about nerves and about how a nerve sends an electrical signal along from one end to the other end. Now when you get to the end of a nerve, it needs to get to another nerve um, to carry that signal on, and the way that happens is through a synapse. So the synapse is a chemical junction where one electrical signal from one nerve is passed on and turns into another electrical signal to an in another nerve. Now if we look at a synapse, we've got a presynaptic bit and a postsynaptic bit, and the bit in the middle, that is the synapse itself. Now as the electrical signal travels along the nerve, it gets to the end, and what it does, this electrical signal, this depolarization, triggers some vesicles, that is a membrane bound little pocket of some chemicals, and it triggers that membrane bound pocket to fuse with the membrane of the cell. And so the chemicals inside it get kicked out into the synapse. Now once they're in there, there's a high concentration by the presynaptic section and a low concentration by the postsynaptic section. And so they travel by diffusion towards the postsynaptic section. Once they're there, these chemicals called neurotransmitters fuse with receptors on the postsynaptic membrane and that starts off a new electrical signal. Sodium ions and potassium ions moving in and out uh, to cause electrical signal to carry all the way down that new neuron. Now the way these synapses work together is really clever. So sometimes there will be two presynaptic nerves and only one postsynaptic nerve. Now the way that works is that it might be that both of them together need to fire to send off one signal. Or it might be that one inhibits the signal and one causes the signal to happen and so if they happen at the same time then no signal is passed on but they're very simple yes no switches a neuron is either firing or not firing and so this is one way that the brain kind of levels up it's able to process things and is able to um, switch itself on and off in different places because it's just a yes no output they're either firing or not firing Actually, the rate of these signals, the frequency of them, is really important. So, for instance, if I've got um, a bit of pain in my hand, then it might be sending a, a, a signal down a nerve into my, my arm and then into my brain. Um, if there's more pain there, it can't, send, um, it can't send a signal more strongly, and so it might just send more signals. So that might be that it sends a signal a lot faster rather than just sending a signal every so often it sends a signal more often or it might be that it recruits and so more nerves send that same signal to my brain so I know that there's something more happening there. Now when these signals get to your brain there's a certain level, there's a certain level of processing to work out what's going on. The brain needs to know what's going on in your body but some of it needs to be conscious and some of it doesn't. So for instance you don't need to know where food is in your gut and which bits to um, contract and whether to put blood there and to make it digestion easier or to divert blood to somewhere else like the muscles and that might be where you get a stitch. That's not something that you can control consciously and so it's not something that you are aware about consciously until you start being maybe in the pain from running with a stitch. Other parts you would be aware of them consciously uh, but then your brain can switch them off if they're repetitive or boring and it thinks you don't need to know about it. And this is where we get to why you can't feel the fact that you're wearing socks. When you put your socks on in the morning, your brain is aware of it. It's a new sensation, and so it, you can feel your socks going onto your feet. By lunchtime, you've forgotten that you're wearing socks. It's not important to you. If, unless they're uncomfortable or unless there's some change in the signal, um, it's the same signal that's going up there saying, I'm wearing socks, I'm wearing socks. I'm wearing socks and your brain decides actually this is not something that is a pressing issue we can ignore it and so you don't realize that you're still wearing socks you can forget about it 
and then suddenly when you're reminded of it by some guy on YouTube then you can feel them again and you are able to have that sensation. But the likelihood is you probably forgot about it during the video when we were talking about synapses and now you've remembered again. So sorry for messing and getting inside your head but hopefully that was interesting. Now you may have seen I've put a post out and I've also scheduled a video uh, for this coming Saturday the 31st of October. We're going to have a live stream and I'll answer some questions. If you've got a question or if you want to um, submit one ahead of time that I can answer then do fill the link in the description, fill in the form there and uh, I'll get on it when we get live. And I've also set up a buy me a coffee account thing. Now someone's already managed to find that so a shout out to Tom Wylands. Thank you very much for buying me a coffee. You don't need to but I thought I'd put it there and maybe it would a way to start making this into a side hustle. That's it for now. Uh, if you like this kind of video and you're interested in, about hormones that's the next video coming up and we'll also uh, have some study skills videos released very soon so do check them out and click subscribe if that sounds like it's up your street and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.